Have you ever wondered why God seems distant when you need Him the most? Psalm 10 takes us into one of those raw conversations with God, where David cries out, Why, O Lord, do you stand far away? Why do you hide yourself in times of trouble? Today we'll dive deep into this heartfelt psalm to understand how God's silence doesn't mean His absence. This exploration will reveal the profound truths hidden within David's plea and how they resonate with our own experiences. Psalm 10 is not just a cry of despair, it's a cry for justice. It's a bold, unfiltered prayer that many of us can relate to, especially when we see the wicked prosper while the innocent suffer. David starts this psalm with a heavy heart, feeling the weight of injustice. But as we will see, he also reaffirms his trust in God's ultimate justice. This psalm invites us into a deep and honest conversation with God, challenging us to confront our own feelings of frustration and doubt. David doesn't shy away from describing the wickedness he sees. He talks about how the wicked hunt down the poor and boast about their evil desires. It's a stark portrayal of how evil seems to thrive and it mirrors many of the injustices we see today, whether it's corruption, exploitation, or violence against the vulnerable. Have you ever felt frustrated by injustice? How do you respond when it seems like evil is winning? David's approach teaches us that it's okay to bring our raw frustrations to God, expressing them fully instead of pretending that everything is okay. In verses 1, 11, David not only describes the wicked, but also his perception that God is distant. He feels that God is hiding his face when the righteous need him the most. It's a powerful expression of how painful God's perceived silence can be. When we don't see immediate answers to our prayers, it's tempting to think that God is absent or indifferent. But Scripture reminds us that God's silence can be a test of faith and perseverance. Sometimes, God is working behind the scenes in ways we cannot see or understand. Despite the feelings of abandonment, David's tone shifts in verses 12, 15, where he boldly declares, Arise, O Lord, O God, lift up your hand, forget not the afflicted. Here, David's confidence in God's justice emerges. He knows that God does see the pain of the oppressed, and that God does hear their cries. If you've ever felt unseen or unheard, take heart. Psalm 10 reminds us that God is not blind to our suffering. He sees every tear, hears every prayer, and remembers every injustice. This assurance should fuel our persistence in prayer, even when answers seem delayed. In verse 17, David reaffirms his belief that the Lord hears the desire of the afflicted. You will strengthen their heart. You will incline your ear. This part of the psalm is about God's character as a defender of the weak. God is not passive. He is actively involved in bringing justice, even when it's not immediate. How can we be defenders of the helpless in our own lives? Can we speak up for someone who has no voice? Can we be instruments of God's justice in a world that desperately needs it? David ends Psalm 10 with a confident declaration that the Lord is king forever and ever. The nations perish from his land. This is a reminder that no matter how powerful evil may seem, God's reign is eternal. His justice will prevail and the wicked will be held accountable. Is there an area in your life where you need to trust in God's ultimate justice? Are there burdens you need to release, knowing that God sees, God hears, and God will act in His perfect time? Psalm 10 teaches us that it's okay to lament, it's okay to question, and it's okay to feel the weight of injustice. But it also calls us to cling to the hope that God sees, hears, and will ultimately make things right. In moments when you feel abandoned, remember that God's silence is never the end of the story. He is always working, 
even when we cannot see it? Will you trust God's timing, even when He seems silent? Will you keep praying, even when answers seem delayed? Remember, God's silence doesn't mean His absence. Let Psalm 10 be a reminder that God is always present, always listening, and always just. Keep faith and let your prayers be persistent, knowing that God's justice will prevail in His perfect time.